Hello everyone, good morning, good morning to you all. Welcome to Rhapsody of Realities, praise the Lord. Today is Friday, happy weekend to you all. And stay on the new month, happy new month to you. Today is 3rd of June 2022 and today's topic is he delight in our prayers, praise the Lord. So before we start this morning, because God delight in our prayers, let's pray to him, praise the Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, we honor you. We thank you for your reign in our life. We thank you for your beauty. We thank you, Father, for all that you have done in our lives. Glory and honor belongs to you, Lord. Thank you, Father, for we are gathered this morning to listen to your word because your word is all we need for a perfect day. As we meditate on your word, we thank you for understanding of your word. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Once more, welcome, welcome, welcome to Rhapsody of Reality. And today's topic is a delight in our prayers. Praise the Lord. And John 16, verse 23 to 24 says, and in that day ye shall ask me nothing, verily, verily, I say unto you. Whatsoever ye shall ask the Father in my name, he will give it to you. He tattoo. Have you asked nothing in my name? Ask, and ye shall receive, that your joy may be full. That's John 16, 23 to 24. Prayer is our way of bringing the power of the Spirit of God to bear on our world. Hallelujah. That is why he leads us always to pray and effect changes in our world. Praise the Lord. The prophet prayed. Jesus prayed. The apostle prayed. And they all taught us to pray. There are a lot of results we will never see except we pray. Praise the Lord. It is God's way of relating with us. He asks us to do it. Hallelujah. Isaiah 45 verse 19 shows us what God thinks when it comes to prayer. Praise the Lord. I publicly proclaim bold promises. I do not whisper obscurity in some dark corner so that no one can know what I mean. Hallelujah. And I didn't tell Israel to ask me for what I didn't plan to give. No, for I, Jehovah, speak only truth. And righteousness. He will never ask us to pray for something he didn't want. He didn't plan to give us praise to the Lord. He tells us to pray because he plans to answer. Hallelujah. Some people don't know this, so they get discouraged when they pray, and it seems hallelujah, and it seems that it's not materializing. Some others pray religiously, not expecting to receive answers. Praise the Lord. It only, if only they knew that the glory of God is in answering our prayers. He delights in answering our prayers. He loves to see us actualize our hope and dream. Then we praise Him for it. Hallelujah. Have the audacity of faith to expect answers when you pray, because the Lord drew derives glory from answering your prayers. It brings to mind the words of Jesus in John 15 verse 8. Yen is our Father glorified, that ye bear much fruit, so shall ye be my disciples. His joy is for you to have a fruitful, productive, and effective work in righteousness. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. What a wonderful way to start our Friday and to enter our weekend. It's a delight in our prayer. Praise the Lord. So when you, it's just like when you ask your physical father for something. Hallelujah. If he has it, he will give it. Give it to you. Praise the Lord. That is just your physical father I'm talking about. Not to talk of our heavenly father. Everything belongs to you. So it's he always have. Because sometimes our physical parents tell, tells us that, oh no, I don't have it. I'll give you tomorrow, I'll give you next month, praise to Lord. But with God, all things are possible. He always gives. That is one good thing about God, praise to Lord. Then He will not withhold good thing from you, hallelujah. That is why He said you have not asked yet, so ask. And when you ask, don't continue with it the next day, praise to Lord. When you are praying the next time, 
you thank him for the good things because he has already done it just that you have not started seeing it does not mean that it's not there it's already there when the time comes you will see it you will see its manifestation hallelujah praise to lord so that is what pastor is communicating to us this morning prayer work when you pray you are asking for your your father for something and it's always everything you are asking god always have it it's available praise the lord there is nothing like no hallelujah all you have to do believe that god heard your prayer god have answered you and you thank him for it praise the lord i said father i thank you for this job next day father i thank you for this job thank you thank you father because i can see myself going out of the house i can see money coming Praise the Lord. You just thank God for it. If you want children, you say, Father, I thank you for the children. I thank you because in God there is nothing like barrenness. Praise the Lord. And for those that are believing God for husband, he said, No woman shall like their mates. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So in God there is sufficiency. Praise the Lord. So all you have to do, there is no need to ask. You have to thank him for it. Father, I thank you for my husband. I thank you for my beautiful children. I thank you for, for everything that I had today. Praise to Lord. I thank you for my beautiful house, for those that are trusting God for their own homes. Say, so, Father, I thank you for my beautiful house because God is a sufficient God. Praise to Lord. So that is what we learned today. Hallelujah. Praise to Lord. So with that being said, let's take the confession. Dear Father, I thank you for the privilege and opportunity of prayer. The very thought that you delight in answering my prayers make prayer more exciting for me. Thank you for giving me the extraordinary name of Jesus to live by. With it, I live triumphantly and experience supernatural results every day. Amen. For that study, you can look at 1 Peter 3 verse 12, 1 John 5 14 to 15, and John 16 23 to 24. So at your leisure time, you can go through the scriptures and you'll be indeed blessed in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. I trust you have been blessed by today's devotional. And I want to use this opportunity to invite you to a place called Christ. If you have not given your life to Christ, this is an opportunity for you to do so. All you have to do is repeat the prayer of salvation with me. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Oh Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe He died for me and God raised Him from the dead. I believe He's alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through Him and in His name, I have eternal life. I am born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I am now a child of God. Praise the Lord. If you pray this prayer with me, congratulations to you. You are now a child of God. Praise the Lord. All you have to do is read your Bible, hallelujah, to strengthen yourself and to get to know your Father, to get to know God. And inside the Bible, there's inheritance for you, hallelujah, praise the Lord. And also look for a believing church to worship and listen to faith feed messages, hallelujah, to strengthen your faith, hallelujah, such messages like this, hallelujah. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. God bless you, God bless you. Before we go, let's pray together. Father, we thank you. We learned today that you are the God that answers prayers. And Father, we come before you this morning to appreciate you for your word that we have received this morning. And thank you, Father, for our day today. For we know that you have gone ahead of us and you have made every pocket way straight in our path. Great things are happening in our life today and great things are happening through us today. Father, we thank you for our daily bread. We thank you for your sufficiency. Thank you for divine health because we know that we have the life and nature of Christ inside of us. By your stripes we are healed, O Lord. We shall not die, but live to fulfill the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Father, we give you all the praise for in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much. You have a fabulous day. I will see you same time tomorrow by the grace of God. God bless you. Bye.